busy time. We'll stay tuned. Thanks, Ed. Mm -hmm. Newly obtained emails between DCI investigators are shedding more light on why and how agents gathered evidence against student athletes at Iowa and Iowa State. Agents used geofence technology already employed by the Iowa Racing and Gaming Commission to track all cell phone activity on both campuses. The evidence led to criminal charges against 26 students. Most pleaded guilty to underage gambling as part of plea deals. In March, the state dropped all charges against the six remaining defendants who pleaded not guilty. All are now suing the state. WHO 13's Elias Johnson has been following the story for weeks, and Elias, you dug through dozens of documents today. Yeah, Andy, uh, needed more time, right? More time to read through them and then more time to present. But here's the gist of it tonight. In those emails, DCI agents said they believe state code permitted them to use the Kibana software that the Racing and Gaming Commission relies on to track online sports betting to then cast a net for their own investigation as to who was making wagers and when. But before Kibana was even used, an email exchange on September 15th, 2022 from Story County Prosecutor Tyler Grimm to DCI Special Agent Chris Swigert showing Grimm explaining the need to obtain a warrant to obtain the information they were after. But as we know now, no warrant was ever issued. The geofence was set up anyway. Initially, agents then involved celebrated what they found. Indeed, there were some crimes committed. On February 2nd, 2023, after that evidence was collected, Special Agent Christopher Adkins emailing lead agent on the case, Brian Sanger, and the superior in this case, Troy Nelson saying in part, I think this is one of the things that would bring attention to our unit, not only in the public's eyes, but also as far as the commissioner, a commissioner, even possibly the legislatures. From what I gathered, from what Brian said, there is a crime here. I believe this is something we should move on. It might ruffle some feathers, but so be it. This is what our unit is for, to hold people in the sports books accountable. Agent Nelson responded a few hours later saying, I like everything you have to say here, Chris, and I am also on board with your perspective, but communications also show that DCI agents knew their methods would be questioned. That taking place on March 20, uh, on 2nd, 2023, agent Chris Swigert, again contacting Special Agent Nelson, the superior here saying in part, it's going to be a controversial issue for us to be able to articulate what leads an investigator to search specific locations for accounts based on the absence of a complaint or lead. Fourth Amendment issues are going to be challenged when we are arbitrarily picking locations we want to randomly locate account information from. Agent Nelson responded three days later, hmm, very interesting. Yeah, I'll have to think through that. Those same questions continued March 24th, that same year, DCI Assistant Director David Jobes emailing Agent Nelson, informing him some agents are expressing concern related to the initial use of the geolocation data and the potential need to identify the source of that data in subsequent court, court proceedings. Now, as previously reported, GeoComply, the company that made Kibana software, they have publicly stated they do not agree with the way the DCI used their software in this case. All of this evidence and much more is being discovered right now as the 26 civil suits against the state DCI and DPS are pending at this point. Uh, nobody's defending uh, what happened here as far as the uh, student athletes, Andy, the, the crimes that were committed. Mm -hmm. This is all about the method in which this case was built and then plea deals were taken and ultimately uh, the case was thrown out against those that decided to plead not guilty. Uh, yeah, and as we saw there in a lot of those emails, an awful lot of meat there for the plaintiffs. And Thank there's you. more to talk about in the days ahead. Yeah, no doubt about it. Thank you, Elias.